Hello, my pretties. It is Wednesday and time for my mind time. But before we get into that, let's get into the informational portion of this video. Hello, my pretties. For anyone who is new here, hi, I'm Gladys or Lady G. On this channel, I mainly do unboxings like Ipsy, BoxyCharm, whatever else I can find. <laughs> and I also do Get Ready With Me's called Mime Times. The last thing I do on this channel, which I love most of all, are mystery boxes. I have so much love for them that I have created my own and I do mystery box giveaways on this channel. This actually starts June's giveaway. It'll start today and will end June 29th and a winner will be chosen July 1st. Now, if you would like a chance to win, just follow my rules down there in the description box below and good luck. Now, if you don't like me or my channel or a chance to win, just move on to the next. It's all light fun here. Except, um, can you not leave a nasty message? Because, you know, no one's got time for that shit. With that, have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one. How have you been since last week? <laughs> uh, let's see. What did we do in the past week? Saturday, uh, my company had, you know, my regular job, had a family picnic down in Walwood. You know, you get the water park, you get all the rides until like 11 o'clock and and they have a crappy lunch um but it is free at least for me employees are free and then you are allowed up to nine guests i asked my husband you know do you want to do it and he was like eh, we don't really go on rides anymore you know once you get a certain age that swirling feeling just you know messes with your brain and your stomach and and you feel like throwing up so yeah we don't do that anymore he goes as far as the water park all we do is lazy river okay my old bones are not sliding down any kind of slide at this point so that's kind of and their lunch well and lunch, you can get something better on the boardwalk. I was like, okay. So that meant you really didn't want to do it. Uh, so I asked my kids, and yeah, only the youngest wanted to do it with his friends. So I drove down an hour, got my ticket, got a free drink, got a free ice cream. And then I headed back and like he stayed for the rest of the night with his friends. Worked out fine. Um, and what else? Oh, that evening, that evening, the town next door to us had a food truck festival. I love a food truck. Okay. Just look at me. I love a food truck. So my husband and I did that. We got new cups. There's this place called, uh, it's a food truck, technically. It's called Pirate Pete's. All right, you get this like barrel mug that's metal. You buy the cup, you get free refills for the rest of the night. Um, if you're at any other food truck thing, and they're there. If you have your cup, you pay like five dollars for refills for the rest of the night. I mean, it's a good thing. 
um, and I got a double insulated cup so therefore I can use it for my hot tea as well as cold drinks. Yay! Um, the only thing I don't like about it, you need, they need to make lids for their cups. Why? Because you're like walking around, people, lots of people are like, you know, breathing, laughing, coughing. And their sputum is just everywhere. As I'm in line for something else, I've got my hand over my cup because I don't want your spit in my cup. So yeah, I think they really need to make some lids for their cups. And as far as food goes, we had uh, this one food truck called Little Sicily. They made those rice balls. Mmm. Everyone was staring at my basket of balls. We got the combo, which was four balls. They were delicious. I wouldn't suggest having the cheesesteak one again. The cheese was so thick in that. Oh. Just remembering. And the other food truck we tried was bacon on bacon yeah it's like bacon pork you know brisket sandwiches um yeah no no that was the saltiest thing on earth like so much salt it burned my tongue I couldn't even finish my $17 sandwich because it was so salty. Now I know not to ever try them again. And then after that, we just went home. How, how salty that sandwich was. He, we even got, oh, brisket fries. Yep, nope, mm-mm. They weren't good either. And there were so many people, because we all love the food truck. Um, my suggestion was like they had the people that put it together. There was a map of where everything was. They should have a little cue code on the map of each food truck that has their menu so that you're not cutting through the line to take a picture as you're standing in the very long line. It just makes sense to me. But, you know. Other than that, I had a, a very uh, peaceful Sunday, Monday, yesterday. Even though it was my 12 hour shift, still peaceful. And now it's Wednesday. As the week progressed, I did use all the colors of this Nubian Royal palette. Um, yeah, I only used this one, well, these, these two, like base, this majority of my crease. And then if I needed to, I could blend it out with that, make a new color. Uh, never use this color because that just looks pink on me but i enjoyed the rest of these um i wish instead of this they had a pop of color like a bright color for an inner corner because that's what this palette is missing but i'll be able to depot this and you know put it with the rest of my juvia's place palettes and today, we have the other purple palette from Juvia's Place. This is the Violets. If you saw the swatches. Now we have two mattes, right? No, no, these are two mattes. These will work just fine. Just fine. Again. And I'm probably going to use this one or this one as an inner corner. 
but I think this one is more thought out than the other. So both looks will start off the same. It's just the inner corner and the lid shade that'll be different. As far as the rest of my face goes, we are going to be using the Touch and Soul No Pore Blem Priming Water. It's the last uh, primer for, for this foundation. I get to move on to another. The NYX Glitter Glow Pretty Vulgar Eyeshadow Primer. M Cosmetics Serum Blush and Peachy Peach. You know I love it. Again, using the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. Gives me a warmth without adding, you know, not depth, but darkness. Using the Lorella Highlighter in Bougie. If I can get it open. Core Freshional, the Benefit Core Freshional Super Set Spreader. Pff, spreader. Setter. The Limited Edition Vicious Mascara by Nabla. It's, it's very wet formula. It doesn't do much for my lashes, but the Melt one was getting kind of gooky. The Patrick Ta Major Lip Shine in She's Expensive, the Tarte Creaseless Concealer, and, you know, my combo, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation in 260N, mixed with the, what is it called? Hold on, I have it right here. The Belief Aqua Bomb just works well for my skin. Um, real Her, I am amazing. And uh, for brows, since I finished the Winky Lux Uni Brow, this is, I believe, billion dollar brows. Uh, Pencil. This one is a lot stiffer, so I can apply a bit more pressure. And I, the spoolie again is stiffer, so I can really pull it out. And then the Kosas Air Brow. And you know my powders, the Clinique and the By Terry. I think that's it. Yeah, I think so. So let's. Get on with it.
I'm pretty neutral, very neutral, but shiny lip. There's no color. And that's fine. Again, I wear a mask, so can't even see it. The eyeshadow, that is our main focus. It's always our main focus. I love this eye, don't love this eye. Um, this dark matte purple, it's pretty, it's pretty. Okay, gives me the smokiness, but this was a bit patchy. Like, I'm missing a spot right there. And I use this to blend it out. Um, yeah, uh, it took me a longer than I would have, what I would like to spend on, on, on blending. I still like it, but I have to say this one works better. And oh, oh, what if, oh, look at that. What if you did those two, right? And so, uh, this purple is here and I love this smokiness. I love it. This is like the shimmer sister to this. I don't, I, no, no, I don't want that. I don't want pink. I want purple. Uh, the 80s bridesmaids dress is a really nice inner corner. I kind of, I don't want to use these two together. See what that looks like. Mmm. Yeah. This would make a great wing as well because it's so dark. I'd just be careful with the, the patchiness. This is... Eh. It's okay. But I feel like this should be in this palette. Yeah. Um, I'm on the way to making a great Juvia's Place purple palette. Who would want to see that? But yeah, this is my favorite for this look. Well, for, you know, this eyeshadow palette. <laughs> well, what do you think? purple anyway. With that, I'm gonna go. I will see you in the next one.